All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. I am excited about today. I bet that was loud in the microphone. I apologize. So, Il Bungo Stayo on Celebration Boulevard has started a lunch menu that they rolled out like a week ago at the time of this video. And I finally made my way over there today. I saw some photos in our Florence Foodies Facebook group that looked really encouraging and exciting. And I was like, I got to get over there and try it out. And so, we got a couple of items today. And I don't want to waste any time. So with no further ado, let's jump into it. So what we have off their lunch menu today, and I'll put the lunch menu on your screen so that you can see what they're offering at lunchtime. I got the pepperoni pizza and we are going to rank this. Currently, the only pizza we have on our ranking is Stefano's. And just from looking at this and smelling it, uh, they may have a run for their money. I said when we did that one, that's the only one we ranked. So obviously they're in first. I do think Stefano's pizza will perform well by the time we've looked at every pizza option in Florence, but this one may give them a run for their money right out the gate. So we're going to start with that. And then I also got, which I'm quite possibly more excited about, is this gigantic Italian sandwich, which you can see on your screen is not only mammoth, but it looks and smells awesome so paid about thirty dollars for this uh and then when i got the drink i went over to sc real foods which is right next door they're in the same plaza right there on the corner of celebration in palmetto and this is mango mango certified organic mango apricot citrus juice going into the florence foodies cup now i'm ready for this i've been working in the yard all day and uh i'm ready to eat all right, so let's start with this pizza. Go grab that piece right there. Man, <laughs> I'm telling you, I already, I, I've got good, good feeling. I got a good feeling about this. So Il Bungo Stayo, just to give you some background, is a Italian eatery in their name. It's, a, I would say, an upscale Italian eatery here in Florence. Um, we've actually only been a few times to have dinner, and really reason being we have a relatively large family, and so when you have that situation, you don't go out to many upscale eateries very frequently. <laughs> and that's all right. We're not complaining about that. But the times we have gone has been excellent. Uh, they've got a, well, they had, I, I think they still have it on their dinner menu. They've got a seafood risotto, which is what I've had uh, the last couple of times we went, actually, because it was so good I got it again. Really nice restaurant, but this new, or this lunch offering is new. It's a new lunch offering that they're doing. Let's stop wasting time. Let's see how this is. So off the rip, off the rip, the fresh mozzarella, fantastic. It's um, salty, obviously, in a good way, and it's got bite to it. it um, it's got resistance to it. The sauce is not real heavy. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see that. We're going to be bringing a second camera into the studio soon, sooner than later, God willing. That'll allow us to get some good cross sections and extra shots in detail of things for y'all. But for now, all I can tell you is this crust is light and airy, is crispy. The sauce is light. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Big slices of pepperoni on this pizza. Hmm. I'm literally enjoying this right now. I'm not even I'm not even talking. This is exceptional. It is. I can't imagine anyone that likes pizza not being extremely satisfied with this. I came very close to getting the Parma pizza, but I went with the pepperoni because this is the picture that I saw in the Facebook group and uh, it looked really good. But I just figured for the sake of this video, I would keep it basic. This is something that pretty much is universal in terms of pizza that everybody goes for. Yeah, this is fantastic. Everything is light. The crust, the sauce, the large cuts of pepperoni are different. That's really a nice touch. And it's cooked well. Last time I had 
ranch or something on my face like the whole video and I didn't feel it and so you get there to sit down and edit and you realize the whole time you had ranch on your face so trying to make sure I'm clean and clear here I'm not gonna make y'all wait to the end of the video this is gonna be currently in the number one spot for pizza in Florence right now Il Bungo Stio's pizza in this case pepperoni pizza easy decision easy decision all right now because I'll sit here and eat the whole pizza, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to shift over to this Italian, which is actually what I was more excited about. I like pizza, obviously. I'd probably be more of a sandwich guy than a pizza guy out of the two options. And the Italian is really always my go-to. At Jersey Mike's, I get the Italian. Jersey Mike's has a good Italian. Uh, that's probably the best one in town right now out of the franchise options. And uh, you know what? <clears throat> this thing is mammoth. And it looks fantastic. Let's try it out. So it's got the cold cuts, spicy provolone, and Italian dressing, which I'm sure is house made. Wow. Anytime you get an Italian sandwich, Italian sub, it's going to be messy. It's just part of the game. I'm going to tell you right now. Well, let me tell you this. Their lunch menu, at least currently, is only takeout. Okay? Very important that you know that. Only takeout. And it's just during the weekdays, I think, from what I saw. I think you're, you're looking at Tuesday through Friday. But if you're okay with that, if you're okay with takeout, and you're okay with Tuesday through Friday... Then um, <clears throat> you need to run. <laughs> you need to run over to Il Bungo Stios and order something. Because I would have to imagine, I'm looking at this menu. I, I don't think there's anything on here that you could order that is not going to be fantastic. They've only got a handful of items. It's not, a, it's not a super large menu. This is also outstanding. So how can I say this? If you go to Jersey Mike's or whatever your favorite franchise fast food sub sandwich chain is, Jersey Mike's, Jimmy John's, Subway, I don't know how or why it would be Subway, but whatever the case may be, and you get an Italian, imagine this is like more Italian. It's the same sandwich. It's essentially the same features, obviously, they have their own bread. It's not Subway bread. But the quality on this meat, the herbs that are in the bread, the Italian dressing that I'm sure is house made, they all come together to make this Italian have a similar flavor profile of what you would get at your favorite place, which should be Jersey Mike's. I don't, I don't know how it could be any of the other options in Florence for franchises. Same flavor profile, but more Italian. So it would be like, if Jersey Mike's Italian sandwich, which is really good, is a guy that plays an Italian character on TV versus this, which is actually an Italian guy. And the price point is really not that much different. If you go to get a regular from Jersey Mike's, it's going to be about $12, $13. This is 16 right at 16 And I would say you get more food also. And this sandwich is huge. But yeah, you can tell that the meats on this are... Really high quality. So that's going to get a high rating for me. I would go as far as to say is that's probably one of the better sandwiches that you can get in Florence, period. I said that. I would say that. Fantastic, man. Well done to you guys. Il Bungo Style is a place that I would like to get to more often. But again, like I said, the season of life we're in, those are getaway opportunities. And again, I'm not complaining, but this food is always really good. And this is fantastic. So I would encourage y'all to reach out to them. I don't know if they have a delivery option or not. I feel like maybe I heard that, but maybe I didn't. And I just want to let y'all know too that um, I really appreciate the support. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers on the channel, which is pretty awesome. And there are some really encouraging things coming down the pipeline for Florence in terms of the food scene. So I'm definitely here for it. Uh, we do got football season coming up, so we're pretty excited about that. Completely random thought, but it's true. That little corner right there on Celebration 
has a whole lot to offer. I mean, even just that plaza alone between SC Real Foods and these guys. And it's funny because, I mean, I remember when Celebration Boulevard didn't even exist. But it does exist now, and you've got these gems sitting over there. If you wonder why I'm looking down, by the way, I don't, from your angle, you can't see it. But I've actually got a desk in front of me where I can put plates and food and stuff. So if that's annoying, I apologize. I'll try to not do it. So listen, man, I'm not going to hold y'all up. I'm going to get one more piece of this pizza. I said this pizza is, is fantastic. I, I'm definitely moving this up to the number one spot. So Il Bungo Styles Pizza is number one. I do think you can get pizza any time of the day. Uh, if I'm correct, their pizza has been a mainstay even on their dinner menu. Pretty sure about that. But this is tremendous. And it is my first time having it. It's everything, man. It's the cheese in particular. In particular, it's the cheese. Fresh mozzarella. This is not a knock on Stefano's Pizza. I told you in that video, I think Stefano's Pizza could finish number one, but it'll definitely rank high. I still will tell you that, but honestly, it's really not close between these two. So for those of you that are keeping up with our giveaway, uh, we are giving away a $350 gift card to SC Real Foods once the channel reaches 2,000 subscribers. As of the time of filming this video, we're 99 subscribers away from that goal. And a big thanks to SC Real Foods for partnering with us on that giveaway. The only criteria for eligibility that you need to have is to be a member of the Florence Foodies Facebook group because that is the pool that we're going to select from when we do the drawing. Yeah, this is all very fresh. And I would imagine, I can't verify this statement, but based on the integrity of the restaurant, the quality of the restaurant, I would imagine, certainly, almost, that every element of this pizza is homemade crust sauce and then of course you have the fresh mozzarella yeah that's tremendous listen i'm not overhyping it i want y'all to go if you're local il bungo styles on celebration boulevard check out the lunch menu try the items that we had today come back leave a comment and let the people know was i telling the truth i cannot imagine i cannot fathom that any of you out there are going to come back unless you hate the items that we just had in general. And I'd agree. This is fantastic. It really is. So cheers to Il Bungo Styles also. And I've got the hiccups now. And I'm going to get out of here before I eat all of this. I'm going to go share this while it's still somewhat fresh. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. It helps us out a lot. We really appreciate it. If you're local, let your friends know about the Florence Foodies. We're not just here to eat and have a good time. We're here to make a difference and see the Florence food scene grow. And it already is. And we're here to do our part to help accelerate that process. And with that being said, I appreciate y'all. God willing, we'll see you soon. In the meantime, y'all take care and we'll see you on the next video.